our favorite Texas rig lures often are chosen because they match our fishing style. In other words, are you somebody that likes to fish a rocky type of a bottom and composition? Do you like pitching into brush piles? Do you like skipping things up underneath docks and overhanging brush? Well, the five that I have chosen for my top lures offer anglers the opportunity to fish a wide variety of conditions, lake and riverbed compositions, or about any type of cover that you could possibly come across. Number one is a rage bug. And the reason I like this particular lure so much is because of its very compact profile this direction. I can slip this lure through brush piles, through grass, vegetation, whatever it might be, and this slender profile as it falls through the water column doesn't get hung up on a lot of stuff and it just slips right down there to the bottom very, very easily. I have caught largemouth on this, smallmouth, spotted bass, it doesn't matter where I'm at, this particular lure gets it done. And especially in a little bit dirtier water, dingy water, this particular style of rib here, and if you notice when you take a look at it up close, they're actually cupped forward. So as you bring this lure through the water column, it displaces the water a little bit differently. And that sound signature, that vibration, that displacement gives the bass just another way to zero in on this particular lure. Number two is going to be some sort of traditional creature bait like this one here. Now, if you notice between this one and the rage bug, the appendages are a lot longer. And when they go through the water column, they can create a little bit different vibrations. You've got these big flaps here. You got the smaller ones here. You got the small legs up here. There is just a lot going on when this one's going through the water column. And it also offers a really nice size profile. It's still pretty slender, so it can get through the brush and get through the vegetation, but it looks like a big bite. Remember, we've talked about bass need to bring in more calories than they burn. This looks like something that is going to give them the nutrition and the energy that they need. These typical, you know, creature type baits have been popular for a long, long time. But in recent years, a lot of anglers have kind of gotten away from them. So I always make sure I got a bunch of these with me. Number three is going to be a traditional craw. The craw offers so many different options for an angler. We often think about just go ahead and, you know, work it across the bottom to imitate a crawfish because it looks like one and it does a great job. But a soft plastic crawfish can also be worked higher in the water column. I love to swim it on a Texas rig. Just put it out there and just swim it back nice and slowly. Very similar to a swim jig. And with these great big appendages there, there's a lot of action going on and it comes over cover really well. It's just one of these lures that is much more versatile than we first think about. Like I said, 99% of the time we think about fishing this on the bottom, but fishing it up in the water column can really be something different than maybe what other anglers are throwing on the lake because it swims through that water column and gives off vibrations and sound signatures and water displacement different than let's say a traditional you know paddle tail single tail grub something like that number four has got to be some sort of big plastic worm and i've got two models right here these things are huge now this one obviously is a ribbon tail so it has a very different swimming action and this here's got a thumper tail on there so these two different worms are going to look and act differently in the water but i'll tell you throwing a big texas rigged worm just catches big fish and depending on the part of the country that you're in the popularity of this technique may differ up in the north where I'm from, you just don't see a lot of anglers throwing great big worms like this. But the first time I went to Lake of the Ozarks, wow, it seemed like 
everybody was throwing 10 and 12 inch plastic worms. That is the first time that I threw one. And I'll be honest with you, when you see, you know, that your Texas rigged hook, even if you got a five aught, you know, just kind of up here in the front, you're thinking, holy cow, am I ever gonna hook up a fish on this thing? Well, it was the first or second brush pile that I had thrown a great big worm into caught a really nice bass on it and from that point on I was definitely a believer. Sometimes you have to even take it a little bit longer and kind of slurp on that a bit to make sure you get that good hook set but a, a really oversized Texas rig worm is a technique that probably more of us can throw and utilize more often than we actually do. And my fifth and final favorite Texas rig lure has got to be a five inch soft jerk bait. And just like the craw, I can fish the entire water column with this. I could throw a weightless if I want. I could put a small worm weight on there. I can put a bigger worm weight on there and fish it down on the bottom. There are just so many places and options for fishing a soft jerk bait. And that is why it makes my top five list. If you would like to watch a video on skipping lures, especially something like this up and underneath docks and brush, go ahead and check this one out right here. And hey, don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.